Good evening. I hope you're feeling uneasy. uneasy. It's a bit late, so I have to keep my voice down. And if you hear some crunching and munching, well, that just might be... That might just be... <coughs> Say hi. Yeah, if you guys hear scritching and scratching, I can't really do anything about that. I'm sorry. Blame them. Take it up with them. The purpose of this video today. I'm tired of not knowing if ghosts are real or not. So we're going to find out, and I'm going to have definitive proof by the end of this video. So why don't we start off with something easy. Um, okay, that's 55 minutes. I don't think you can prove, if you can't prove ghosts are real in like 10 seconds or less. Wow, the police. This last clip is from a patrol officer who swears he keeps seeing shadows on and inside of this building. Four, two, three. Ghost guy figures that this place is haunted. <laughs> the body cam captures something or someone on the. No, it didn't. <laughs> in I'm an amateur video editor. Yet no one is supposed to be inside. No way. No way. Just hold on. It's a short. I can't go back. You can see the shadow like moving like it wasn't keyframed well. Who's here? Something doesn't feel right, I does know. it? It doesn't feel right at all. Are you here? area must be so charged right now to be going up like that. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Oh, he got his device. <laughs> I wish it showed it from another angle. I'm sure it does because this is the travel channel, but... I don't buy shit from the Travel Channel. Anything Zach Bagans, anything like that. Taps, Ghost Advent, no. Ghost Hunters, Ghost Advent, none of that shit. It's all meant for TV, none of it's real, and they have the budget. It is the cheapest TV show to make. For the CGI that they have to do, they have to do no CGI to make it look real. Actually, the less they do, the more authentic it feels and looks. So it's a very lucrative show to produce. That's what pisses me off about ghost stuff is I can't tell. It's hard to tell what's real because it's you can gain a lot from faking it. And there's not much to gain from holding on to your integrity. So nobody does it. <laughs> This already looks like it's set up like a uh, some f film students. Wasn't laying down when I came to either. That should be up there, man. What were the lines? What are you? What, was that? what camera is this? This is your iPhone, dude. What? <laughs> okay, I think I need to get out of shorts. Let's get into some videos where I can pause and scroll through. So I'm curious about what this is. This is that 55 minute video. Almost command by Mindseed TV. No in way. I've never seen it do this before. Something was lifting it from underneath, bro. So far from what I've seen, I want to believe it 55 seconds into this 55 minute video. But my issue is really nothing that I'm not doing. But it's just because to me this is like you it's it's the integrity thing with this paranormal stuff it's the same thing with aliens it's the same thing with conspiracy theories if you believe in everything then belief means nothing and if you believe in nothing then you might as well believe in everything does that make any sense i don't know it's three in the morning but you can't just buy into it all but i know that i wasn't 
Not much information was given on the backstory of the home except the previous owners passed away more than 20 years ago inside of the house. Tonight, Colton and I will be investigating the property and seeing if we can capture anything out of the ordinary. Who are these people again? Camera interview, a direct quote from one of the new owners was, Gotcha, so these, giving them the benefit of the doubt, were taking their word for it. Look at the wallpaper, it's so old. Whoa. It's tight. So yeah, here, Bobby. Yep. I realized I just got roped into watching a actual, like, ghost show. So my problem with the ghost shows is, again, is they, they can lack that integrity. And being 55 minutes long, clearly that's more about watching that for 55 minutes than giving genuine paranormal evidence. I'm totally judging a book by its cover because I didn't watch it, but I don't think I need to watch it to understand that they really want me to watch it not to have an understanding of the paranormal. Hey, look at this. That's crazy. What? What's that about? Sounds, lights, and colors make me blind. You said it. All right. We're going to look up ghost footage, and then we're going to go to filters, and then we're going to go to this week because it's Halloween. Let's go through a few top whatever lists and skip straight to number one. And let's see if we can. Every's home. What number are we? Midwest Ghost Hunter. In the video, Ian heads out to the infamous San Haven Sanatorium in North Dakota, USA. Built in 1909, San Haven Sanatorium started as me. a treatment for and many reports of apparitions seen in the windows, the sounds of phantom footsteps, screams and voices, along with sightings of mysterious... Alright, I get it, I get it, it's a haunting. So... This clip already has something going for it and that it's, as far as I know, just a guy and he's out in a place. There's two ways usually these can go and it's, it's hard to judge by like the person's acting or whatever because you can be like, oh, they're just acting scared or oh, they're, they're genuinely scared. Sometimes it's hard to tell and I think it's like, eh, that's not really a valuable thing to tell if it's true or not is how scared somebody is because you never... You'd be in shock. But to go out and do this stuff, to go into an abandoned building or to go into a haunted building alone and coming out with footage like this makes me wonder, like, how are ghosts not real then? Like, how is, how is science not caught up to this? How is science not put... Like, it's not even just the word science, but it's just, like, how have we not gotten enough tangible, undeniable evidence to the point where we can't deny that as a society to be true. I wonder what it would actually take, because I don't think it's just going to be a, a video as much as I would want it to be. But this video on that point seems a little bit more genuine so far because of its setting. It's just a guy in a place. We'll see. Okay, what I don't understand is how did that not scare him immediately when he heard it? Okay, those So audio, I don't really trust either because it's so much easier to do an audio sound effect than a visual one, especially because a lot of people won't notice a lot of things in the mixing or how the volume is or anything like that. So they're just like, oh, I hear footsteps, but they can't really tell that it's edited in. I'm not saying I can tell that that's edited in, but I just know audio is really easy to fake, so I'm not gonna, so far nothing. Those are close. Like it seems genuine, but. Glizzy gang? <laughs> Seth is gay. The sounds of footsteps can be heard <laughs> walk. No, it, you can just have somebody behind the door. That's the oldest trick in the book, and that's the easiest dismissal in the book. But like, here, let's listen to the audio. I hear, you can hear his footsteps. Nah, I don't buy it. You just a little hand. Okay. You don't as even need a hand, was, you can just. I did feel a gust of wind when that happened. 
Sí. Oh, shit. <laughs> Still creepy as hell. How is that your reaction, my guy? Like, uh, th this isn't even me, be like, saying it's not true. It's just, I want to talk to this man. How? What? You, you just saw an inanimate object move in front of you. You didn't do anything. And it's crazy? Are you just not phased by it? Is, is this, like, this is why it's so hard to tell. Because the people that actually experience it are like, oh, yeah, it's nothing. And then the people that have never experienced it don't believe it because it seems oh, so unbelievable. So I can't have these nonchalant reactions. I need genuine fear. I think the point of it opening back up is to make it seem more he real. He continues on exploring the old abandoned asylum. Whoa, what was that? Nothing. Dude, I think I just saw something. No, you didn't. <laughs> I saw war. I saw bombing. I saw shooting. No. No. That just looks fake, first of all. But you can see the way it just appears. Look, look, right there. See, it exists. And watch, it's it's not going to fade out, it's not going to like an item. You can even see it doesn't blend in with everything. But watch, it's just going to stop. It just like fades out so... That's <laughs> not an orb anomaly. I Like, I didn't want to be mean and be like, oh, I just, you know, I want to give him the Could benefit of the like doubt. you like that again? And, the, and the, the fact that there was a sound effect in it too, that he... Okay, no, 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 let's go back to that, let's go back to that. Listen to this. So every time, and you could just say he edited it, he edited it in post, and he's replaying the replay. I just don't believe it for a second, awesome. though. Knowing me how I would edit videos, this guy made that edit of the orb over the raw footage, and then he put the sound effect in. And then he just kept looping that since he already had it. Okay. And it's because the orb has a sound effect. I don't buy that for a second because I don't. <laughs> I think ghost orbs are the worst piece of paranormal evidence. You, you want to convince people that ghosts are real and break the stigma and tell them the, the dust is a ghost. Oh my god, it just went into that room! No, it didn't. Another sound effect. That's It just it takes me out of it. Because for every loop, it's going to have the sound effect. And again, it could just be a post-edit thing. But something about that reaction, like where he was just kind of sitting there, it seemed like he knew that he had to react to something going into that room because he was planning out that he could edit something going into that room. Because these are all on-the-spot edits. That was crazy! So he's doing a lot of audio, and that's kind of what's discrediting, discrediting all of it for me. Because again, audio is way easier to fake than visuals. Man, if anybody can just make videos like this, imagine anybody with AI making videos like this. I think the time to believe paranormal footage has come to an end. I think I just gotta go find a ghost myself. So, at 3.39 a.m. while the rest of the world was sleeping, I decided to go find a ghost myself with my trusty dusty night vision camera. I wasn't sure if I was going to get any paranormal footage or not. It's just my roommate's cat. She doesn't have a cat.